So our friend Johnny Vibble, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, ask if it is possible to make a, a variation of the words he add. So in his uh, question, he said that, uh, hi there, thank for the guide. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> Managed to read it, quick sell item. It's great. Uh, uh, though when I add them to wall mesh, it will always display just one of them. Only item that lasts in the list of all wall meshes. So if I add pillars and window, only window will be shown. And when I add one, one pillar, one pillar will be shown. So the answer to the question is you have to use the random as function of PBG. And this way you can make uh, uh, different buildings and uh, with all the meshes you add. And this video is to explain in the best way possible the, uh, uh, the answer to our friend Johnny Vibble. PBG randomized action is an important f function and a feature of PBG. It will allow you to personalize your uh, buildings and make a variety of them. So, uh, like you see in this uh, scene, I, in my PBG workshop, uh, I already done one PBG prefab where I do have a lot of meshes. And these meshes are the one you see right now. This is index one, one, two. And by the way, this is the fast workflow, which will be in another video uh, very soon on the channel. So, uh, like I said, I have a number of wall meshes and the way to make them appear in my building is to use the randomize function. So, I make a search for randomize on my prefab. And once you have typed randomize on the search bar, you already have all this variety of randomized functions. So you can randomize any aspect of your building, uh, assuming that you already put the meshes on the prefab. So let's see what we do have right here. If we check the randomized wall mesh, each time you click on the checkbox, you do have a different mesh, one of the meshes you already added to your building. And you can see each time I check, the building will change the wall meshes. The next function is you can randomize the right corner wall mesh if you do have a variety of wall meshes, corner meshes. And you can see each time I check, the changes are made on the building. And this is the way to make a variety of your prefabs of your prefab building. So each time I check, I do have a different aspect of my building, assuming you do have made changes. So right now you see I'm working on the wall material. So each time I check the material change. So let's check a real example of my prefabs on a real project. So you can see right here that I already have I'm working on a project where we are using pre, uh, PBG for the buildings. And right now you can see that I have the same prefab. See, it's the prefab, the same one over and over again on the city. And each time you can choose a different wall mesh to the, the buildings. And you can see this one is one, a one window wall mesh. In this one, we do have two windows wall mesh. And same, you can check the randomize to have a different wall meshes selected on your PBG prefab. So this is the way to make a different building from each another. And this way, each time I selected the building, I can make a different wall mesh, in a different aspect, so a different building. So you can see how easy it is once you have added all your wall meshes, you can make the changes. Finishing this video, I will use the prefabs that come with PBG to demonstrate much further functionalities. So let me delete this one and make quickly a new building from 
PBG prefabs. So I'm going to the top view. And by the way, to find PBG prefabs, you go to the procedure building generator folder and go to the prefabs folder. Here you can find some samples of the PBG prefab where so I'm making a list view so you can understand better all the models you do have right here. You can see that I have a two floor building. So I'll choose this one. Okay. All you do is make a drag and drop on the view so you can work on it. There it is. This is the PBG prefab, which comes with PBG, by the way. Once you add it to your project, you do already have do these prefabs and you can work right away with these prefabs. So I will quickly make one and go back. This is the building which come with uh, the prefab which come with PBG. So it's based on the Soul. I guess it's in, in the Soul City pack that you can find on the Epic Store. So just do a search for Soul City, and you can find the. Uh, no, sorry, this is not on this place. It's not on my vault, obviously. I uh, you have to go to the marketplace. Okay, so in the marketplace you can search for Soul City. And once you have Soul City, you can add it to your project and you will have the meshes used by PBG. So this is it, the pack. I think it's a permanently free asset pack, so you can just go and download the, uh, the, the pack for free. So this is it. Uh, it's a, a, a bunch of collection of meshes and uh, blueprints, which... Yeah, uh, I guess is uh, for a uh, cyberpunk city, so you should use them. And uh, uh, procedural building uh, PBG come with these uh, prefabs, uh, which are based on the Soul City uh, meshes. So uh, I I already forgot that I'm here just for the randomized function. So let's see the randomized function on the PBG prefab. So go to randomize. And this is the power of PBG and which the function that I like the most about PBG. So randomize the wall mesh and you can see that I already have new meshes each time I click. So this comes with the variety of meshes that you can use and you can see that the power of PBG comes from this. So you can have a multitude of uh, buildings each one different from one another and each one with different aspect and with good lookings. So just check and each time you do have a different building. So you can see that the building come with three floors. So I will add for the block manager, you can see number of floors on the index zero, which is the basement three floors and the number of floors here is one. So I'm going to put six so I can have the better number of floors. And that's it. That's much better. So right now, I think I can make a better demonstration of this prefab. And you can see that each time you go to the randomized function, There it is. So, see, each time I check, you can see that I do have a different wall meshes and a different building altogether each time you check this one. So, I encourage you to use this prefab because uh, it's already there. You can use it once you add uh, PBG to your project. And I encourage you to explore all the meshes that come with the prefab so you can see the difference between. So that's it for the video. Thanks for following. Thanks for all the new subscribers. And don't forget to hit all the thumbs up button and the subscribe button for all the watchers that not 
Only this subscribe to the channel. Thanks again.